Welcome to Higher Education Framework for Digital Bangladesh. I am Dr. Mohammed Akhtazaman, currently working as a director of Blended Learning Center at Daffodil International University. Being an international expert of blended online and digital learning, I have a unique background of IT and education, and relevant working experience of more than 14 years with experts and institutions, in Bangladesh, Australia, New Zealand, US, Canada, Ireland and the UK. Today, I will talk about higher education framework for digital Bangladesh, which may create a golden opportunity for us to earn hundreds of thousands of dollars every year. Now, before going into the discussion further, I would like to outline few requirements at certain levels, which need to be fulfilled for implementing digital education framework in Bangladesh. At the individual level, the requirements are, university teachers and students should have positive mindset towards online and digital education, and explore it as a challenge. At the institutional level, the requirements are, ensuring institutional email for all students, teachers and staff, as well as, establishment of a center or institute for online and digital education for each university, and more importantly, it should have an integrated, all-inclusive, easy-to-understand learning management system, which is stable, scalable and easy to use. Finally, the national level requirements, those are, ensuring minimum 3G uninterrupted internet service countrywide, then facilitate students in terms of internet cost, one laptop per student interest free loan, teachers training and more importantly, formulation of relevant policies and practices. Now, let's see the impacts of the higher education framework for digital Bangladesh. Number 1, higher education will be the number 3 sector for revenue income alongside remittance and garments. It is the same concept of our garments products used in the developed countries, lower cost and comparatively better quality. For instance, without accommodation and food, only tuition fees per year per student at Harvard University is around $50,000, at Australian universities it is more than $30,000, and in Bangladesh it is only $150 per year for local students at public universities, and probably around $2,000 at private universities. There will be no extra cost for local students. But we can make it five to ten thousand dollars per year for international students studying fully online or blended. Number two, student number can be increased two to ten times within the current setup or infrastructure of our universities. In order to ensure proper utilization of available resources, we can increase our student population. For instance, in several programs at many Australian universities, there are 90 to 100 students face to face while around 500 students studying online from different parts of the world. Our undergraduate education quality is better and our teacher student ratio is twice as good as many universities in the developed world, although problems do exist in our graduate education and research. So, we need to explore further on how to utilize our resources more effectively and efficiently. Number 3, Competency-Based Curriculum Integrating TVET Component. Each university graduate should have a technical and vocational component as part of their curricula such as, automobiles, electrical wiring, graphics, and video editing, animation, etc. so that they can prepare themselves for the future world of work which is challenging as well as competitive. I saw many PhD holders in the developed countries have no jobs whereas, if they have some TVET expertise, they could easily get a handsome job, often far better than academic jobs he or she intends to get. Thus, rather than waiting for jobs, they can create jobs for others. Number 4, No Educated Unemployed Thousands of jobs opportunities at the universities in terms of teaching assistants, TAs, and learning advisors, LAs. The teacher task is to conduct the class of 50 to 100 students face to face while the TAs or LAs will take care of the 500 remote students. For instance, there will be 20 TAs or LAs for 500 students and thus, student engagement will be better, so as their learning outcome. Also, there will be many learning designers and technologists deployed at each university. Moreover, as each of the graduate has one TVET skill provision, they won't have to wait for government jobs or become a burden to their family. 
They will be entrepreneurs and create many jobs for others, at least they won't be the unemployable educated. Number 5, Higher Education Loan Program Based on Taxpayer Income and Demand in the Market at Home and Abroad. There may be several categories of higher education loan programs such as, full free, government subsidized, and full fee payment, based on the taxpayer income. Government may provide further subsidies to those courses and programs based on their demand in the job market particularly in Bangladesh. Number 6, people will pay taxes spontaneously for their better futures. In order to get government loan or subsidies for higher education, parents or legal guardians of students should have income tax return cleared, even there is zero return. Otherwise, they will be ineligible for such opportunities. Number 7, Massive Increase in International Students. As I said, our undergraduate education quality is comparatively better, so as our teacher-student ratio, but still we have poor rankings of our universities. One of the main reasons is the number of international students. In Times Higher Education Ranking 2020, only Dhaka University is listed in the 1001 plus range from Bangladesh and unfortunately, it has 0% of international students whereas most of the Australian universities have around 40% international students and thereby earning billions of dollars every year from international student population. Number 8, quality of education will improve, so as graduate research, publications, research funding and international exposure. Alongside international student population, this is another area, graduate education and research, which we need to improve. When the universities will have income, they can bring visiting professors and scholars from abroad, particularly those of Bangladeshi origin having academic excellence both teaching and research in various fields. It will improve our graduate education and research, also quality of publications, and international exposures. Research funding on key areas of interests needs to be introduced as grants nationally. Number 9, Competitive Environment for Teachers and Universities. Not all universities should provide courses and programs to international students. The universities should meet certain standards as providers to offer international programs. There should have a national ranking system of universities following the same pattern of times higher education ranking. Thus, Competitive but congenial academic atmosphere will be created for both teachers and universities. Criteria for academic promotion and annual increments such as, academic excellence, professional development, quality publications, and research grants need to be strengthened and followed in a systematic way with transparency. Number 10, University Rankings Will Improve Significantly. When the above tasks will be considered and necessary actions will be taken, then our university rankings will improve gradually. We have many plus points such as our manpower cost is low, undergraduate education quality is good, teacher-student ratio is better. Now if we can look into the international exposures in terms of both students and faculty members as well as graduate research, publications and funding, obviously our university rankings will improve. So, we have to act and act soon to capitalize in the higher education sector. Finally, we should not forget that higher education option is a right to our citizen, and it should be available for everyone if he or she wishes to. As I said earlier that, government should introduce various loan programs for students based on their socio-economic conditions. After graduation, when the students will get job or self-employed and their earnings will cross a certain threshold value such as 20 or 30,000 taka per month, he or she must pay the education loan gradually. The higher education loan should be interest-free but needs to be indexed annually. In conclusion, Higher Education Framework for Digital Bangladesh is a comprehensive solution. It will be different and probably better in many ways than the existing systems across the world. Now we need to focus on this type of integrated and all-inclusive solution so that we can place our higher education to a new height, which will be time-driven and demanding both locally and internationally. Thank you for watching. At home, stay safe online and continue education.